Why have you decided to do Dawa on the street in a predominantly non-Muslim environment? Knowledge is useless unless it is shared. If I learn something, if I don't pass it on to someone else, then what I know is completely useless. You're touching the hearts and minds of people and you're getting them to see a truth. The first time he's presenting himself in front of Allah in the act of worship, he doesn't want to get up now. Very prominent in the field of Dawa. He goes by the name of Abdul Wahab and he's also known as the Warner. Okay, beautiful. First of all, do you have any questions at the top of your mind? Uh, no. There's no such thing as a bad question. Okay, beautiful. Well, Islam is a very, very simple religion and it's straight to the point as well. Islam just means submission to God, right? As Muslims, we believe that there's only one creator and we believe only worshipping that creator alone. We believe the creator is not a human being, is not a man, it's not a woman. It's uncreated, you understand? And that Almighty God is far superior than us in every way, shape, or form. The Quran is known as the final revelation that came to the final prophet of God to give, a, to give, and it was the only prophet that was sent to all of humanity. We believe there were previous prophets that were sent to mankind, but it was only sent for certain people at that certain time. We believe there's only one revelation and one prophet that was sent of all that was sent to all of mankind, which is known as the Prophet Muhammad. And what you have in your hands is the final revelation that was sent to the final prophet. Right here is actually the original version right here in Arabic, and then what you have is translated in English. Have you ever heard the Arabic Quran by any chance? I would love to recite a few verses for you. I think you would definitely love to hear it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just recite a few verses. And if you want, you can open up the first page and then you can go ahead and read along with me. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask, okay? So if you want, you can just open up to page one right here. So just open up the page one, I'll go ahead and recite for you and then uh, we'll go over the meaning. Now that we're talking about the One Truth, I want to introduce you guys to my new brand called The One Truth, which symbolizes the truth of Islam. The reason why I created this clothing brand is a lot of people I notice are very shy and timid or they lack confidence when it comes to spreading Islam. What I did is I created a clothing brand that does dawah for you. We have shirts with many different sayings that represent the true message of Islam, that there's only one God and to only worship God alone. So you may not know when you wear one of the shirts and you walk by someone that they have to hear the message that is on that shirt. So if you guys want, you guys can go ahead and check out the website. It's theonetruth.co. Also, everything that you purchase on the website directly funds the dawah and will help the dawah take it to a whole nother أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين Ameen. So what I just read, my dear sister, is a prayer of guidance, right? So as Muslims, we read this over 15 times a day. So if you want, I'll go ahead and go over it with you. It's called the prayer of guidance. So in the name of Almighty God, the most compassionate, the most merciful, all praise is for Allah, Lord of all worlds, the most compassionate, the most merciful, the master of the day of judgment. You alone we worship. You alone we ask for help. Guide us along the straight path, the path of those who are blessed, not those that you are displeased with or those who are astray. So the message of Islam is very, very simple, that there's only one creator to worship your creator alone. And that we all as human beings, we all have a purpose in life. I want to ask you as a human being, what do you believe your purpose in life is? Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So would you like to know what, uh, what Islam teaches about what the purpose of life is? So in Islam, we believe that we have multiple we live multiple lives and I could go ahead and explain it to you. The first life is in the womb of your mother, right? When you're there for nine months. Then the next life is when you're in this world being tested by Almighty God. Because we believe this life is simply a test for human beings to see who's going to do right and then who's going to do wrong. And Almighty God sees all and knows all. And He only judges you based on what you know. If you did something based on something that you had no knowledge of, you will not be punished for something you did not know of. But let's say if you are aware of what is right and what's wrong, and you still go towards what's wrong, then you will be judged by the Creator. And we believe the final life is when you meet your Creator. And that's the afterlife where you will be judged by Almighty God, and He will decide where you end up, which is paradise, or the hellfire. And if you end up in paradise, we do, we, as human beings, as Muslims, we believe that we were not created for this world. In this world, we're simply travelers. 
and a traveler, if you see, they only have a few items with them, right? Because they know they're not going to be here for long. Majority of people in this world, they prepare for this world as if they're going to live here forever. But we know life is not forever. So why do we prepare as if we're going to live here forever? So the message of Islam is very simple. Prepare for the afterlife. That's the life that is eternal. That's forever. Very simple. What did you think about what I just shared with you? It was beautiful? Okay, wonderful. So if you want, just go ahead and take your time. Read the Quran. And the message is very clear. Just remember that your Lord is one. He's not a man. He's not a woman. And to worship your Lord alone. Okay? Beautiful. I'd love to offer you another gift as well. A prayer mat from the holy city of Mecca. What color would you like, my dear sister? So what it is, is the color on the back is the color inside. So it's basically a prayer mat, right? That you could use to worship the Almighty, okay? So just see what color that you like. And then based on the color that you like, you go ahead and pick one out, okay? Go ahead. That's a gift from me to you, okay? And then this is a prayer guide that teaches you how to pray as well, okay? Is there any questions that you have on your mind? Absolutely, absolutely. Do you guys have any questions at all? Okay. Okay, yeah. If, would you like one as well, my dear sister? No, it's okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Well, thank you guys so much for coming. And I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys have a good one, okay? Ah, why don't we push each other to read the Quran? Quran is the only Quran app in the world that allows you to add friends and family. Every time they read, it notifies you. Every time you read Quran, it notifies them. It pushes each of you to read the Quran. The Prophet Sassam told us to compete in good deeds. Download Quran, try it free for seven days, and change your life with the words of Allah. Okay, Wahab, nice to meet you, my brother. What brought you over to the table? I think I've seen your videos before. Okay, nice. What platform did you see it on? on uh, I think it was on TikTok. Okay, nice. So what did you think when you saw them? I think I think, the, I think it's great. Okay, the, beautiful. The religion in general is beautiful. Okay, I'm not of the Islamic faith, but, but I find it beautiful. Like, uh, I, I'm aware of the writings. I myself am a Baha'i. Okay. So I, there's some similar, like, yeah, like there's some stuff that I can kind of relate to. Yeah. But um, I think I think the words that are in the Quran, are beautiful. Wonderful. Have you ever had the opportunity to read one before? I've read verses because it's in one of like in, it's in one of our books, the Kitab Iran. Yes. And so I haven't read like the entire book fully, but but I've read some verses. Okay, interesting. In the Baha'i faith. Uh, what uh, what nationality are your parents? If you don't want me Iran. asking. Iran, okay, nice. So is that very popular in Iran? Not really. It's 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 actually a well, I don't want to say illegal, but like it's like it's not seen as something good over there. We've we've had our people be thrown in prison and exiled uh, for pretty much no reason, simply just because of faith. Mm. Sadly, there's no choice. Uh, if you don't revert, like like convert to Islam, you either get killed or you stay in prison for long. Oh wow! wow. Yeah. So that's how it is over there. Guys, I have a major announcement. We just launched. The Faith in God collection by The One Truth. I want you guys to check out the different styles of hoodies that we have, different varieties of colors. Make sure you guys cop your hoodies today, theonetruth.co. High-end, high-quality hoodies, and it also comes with a message to have faith in God. And it's not just a reminder for yourself, but it's a reminder for others as well. So guys, make sure you grab your hoodies today, Faith in God, theonetruth.co. Get your hoodies today. Let's go. But uh, I don't know if you're aware, but you know Iran does not practice what Islam teaches, right? I, I, it's a very extremist yeah, form. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Even in the streets, I'm not sure if, because if, I know there's a Shia and a Sunni. I, I, I believe you're a Sunni. Right? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So we believe that, you know, what the Quran teaches is that either you follow the Quran and the teachings of the Prophet, or you decide to revolt and file innovation. Isn't that called so, like a kafir? Uh, no, a kafir is a person who knows the truth and then hides the truth from others. Right? Then there's a disbeliever, a person who knows the truth and then ignores the truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, for instance, like, you know, like what I could share with you, like for instance, uh, like, you know, according to the Quran, like what the people of Iran doing are, are completely, the leaders of Iran are completely against the teachings of Islam. Because if you read in the, in the Quran, it says very, very clearly, um, you know, that you're not supposed to, um, you know, force your religion upon anyone. Exactly. Yeah, you know, like, it's very, very clear. I let my own family go into prison and, like, be locked up and have, have that choice where you can't, like, you can't, like, leave or you have to go. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 it says that, you know, in the Quran, it says very clearly that the truth stands out clearly from falsehood. 
right? And that everyone has a choice to either believe in the truth or they have the choice to reject the truth. And then Almighty God will be the judge for them yeah. on the day of judgment. And Almighty God will decide what to do with them. As human beings, we don't decide what to do with other human beings when it comes to, you know, uh, when it comes to faith. You know what I mean? But um, that's really awesome, man, that you decided to come over. You have any questions about Islam or anything like that? Anything that came up to your mind while you're watching the videos? I don't think I have any questions, but like I, I just find it so astounding. I've 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 been keeping up with some uh, I don't know what you call it, like lecturers from sure. the Islamic faith. I've been keeping up with a lot of them. It's, it's really well, what do you find astounding about Islam if you don't want me to ask you? Just the words and how it's kind of like the opposite of what is being done today in society and how sin is being more like normalized and how like the, the, there's a lot like especially like, like social media adds on to like all the negativity and stuff like that. And I like how the words of the Quran and, and just different faiths in general, they really say that you gotta like stay like, within your morals and stuff like that. And I, I find that very interesting. That's beautiful, man. I don't know if you know, but Islam is literally the biggest frontier yeah. and the biggest protection against evil today. Literally, like let's say if Muslims did not exist today, the way the LGBT, the way evil would spread on this world would spread in a way that's never spread before. But because obviously there's over 2 billion Muslims and we're actually a religion, the largest practicing religion. Because yeah, yeah. there's obviously large religions, but majority of people don't practice the religion. Like even for instance, Judaism, right? Majority of Jews are atheists now. They're Jew by race, but they no longer follow Judaism anymore. You know what I mean? Practice. Yeah, they just don't practice anymore. So I want to ask you, like, so do you know the basic tenets of Islam, like what Islam teaches and stuff like that? Like, for instance, what it says about God and stuff like that? I'm not sure exactly. Would you like for me to share with you? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. beautiful. So here, I'll hand you a Quran, my brother. I right? actually have two at home. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, just so you, we could read along okay. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what I'm going to open, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read for you. Uh, it's the, it's the one of the last pages. So it's page... 374, right? If you open the page 374, chapter 112, it discusses who Almighty God is. And I want to let I want to ask you after, do you agree with it says about God or do you disagree? Then we could go ahead and go from there, okay? So I'll share with you the original version of the Quran. So originally the Quran was revealed in Arabic, right? So when we recite, we recite it in its original form. And then okay, that's that's amazing, man. I'm glad to hear that, bro. In our faith, we have uh, obligatory prayers. You can choose from three. There's a short, there's a long way to your um what we call it Wuzu. But Mutu, oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, wow. And the long one. And so, how did you say the 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 Mutu in fully Arabic? Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. Wow. So that's you know. To be honest, I'll be honest with you. I don't know much about the Baha'i faith. Yeah, yeah. But based on what you just shared, there there seems to be like certain similarities, especially if we say wudu is a purification before you speak yeah, to God. Yeah, yeah. Well, wow, that's amazing. I, di I didn't know that, right? Um, so I'll go ahead and share with you what, what we believe about God, right? So I'll recite the verses in Arabic and I'll translate for you in English, okay? A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Kul huwa Allahu ahad Allahu samad Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu so it says in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, that He is Allah, one and indivisible, meaning God is absolutely one and He cannot be divided into parts. Allah, the sustainer needed by all, meaning everyone and everything needs God, but God does not need anyone or anything. He has never had offspring, nor was He born, and there's none comparable to Him. So based on our description of God, what do you believe about this description of God, my dear brother? Is that something that you agree with? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, it's pretty much kind of the same for us. Too. So what, what what makes you hesitate to gravitating more towards Islam, my dear brother, if you don't want me asking? It's, it's like my family in general mm -hmm. and, and just my personal beliefs as well. Um, I, I just kind of feel more comfortable with my faith, but I love the other faith as well. Okay, wonderful, my brother. And is this the same Quran that you have at home? No, it, uh, it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Well, if you don't mind, I would love for you to take that one, my brother. Um, and I could offer you another thing, a prayer manual as well. So you know how the Muslims worship. Do you mind if I offer you another gift as well? Everything is all 100% free. Here, this is a gift for me to you. Also, I'd love for you to choose a prayer mat as well. So the, the color on the outside is the color on the inside. So this one is black. This one is burgundy. Uh, different colors that have different, um, you know, uh, different colors on the outside will be different colors I on the inside. Prayer mat myself. Oh yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Grab one. See which one you like. Okay.
And is there any questions based on what I share with you, my dear brother? Not too much. It was, it was interesting to kind of go deeper into it. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And then, you know what? Uh, if you have any questions in the future, you could just hit me up on uh, Instagram at I am the Warner, okay? Okay, sounds good, brother. God bless you, okay? How you doing? قالوا بلى قد جاءنا نذير فكذبنا وقلنا ما نزل الله وقلنا ما نزل الله من شيء إن أنتم إلا في ضلال كبير وقالوا لو كنا نسمع أو نعقل ما كنا في أصحاب السعير فاعترفوا بذنبهم فسهقا لأصحاب السعير Ah, why don't we push each other to read the Quran? Quran is the only Quran app in the world that allows you to add friends and family. Every time they read, it notifies you. Every time you read Quran, it notifies them. It pushes each of you to read more Quran. The Prophet told us to compete in good deeds. Download Quran, try it free for seven days, and change your life with the words of Allah.